my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a BTS recipe. If you don't know BTS, they are the wildly famous and popular K-pop band and they have a show called Bon Voyage. It's in its fourth season, I believe, and apparently they cook recipes. And thanks to Anita Picosita, who told me about this particular recipe that BTS made in one of the episodes, I believe it was in season four, episode seven. BTS fans, correct me if I'm wrong, which I probably am, <laughs> but in that episode, Jimin makes a recipe called Gulbengi Muchim, which is a salad using these. This is a can of sea snails, which are called Gulbengi, and I have been holding on to these forever. They've been sitting in my pantry, and I have never used them. And it's a canned product, and canned things last forever. And so amid this lockdown, this is the perfect recipe because I'm using up things that I've been holding on to forever. I didn't even remember I had these until Anita Picosita said, you should make snail salad. And I went, Mom, I have a can of snails waiting for me to cook with. So in the description, I will also put a link to Quan's Corner where much of this information I'm sharing with you came from his video. So be sure to check him out. Next, we have paito sauce, and this is a wildly popular instant bibimian in Korea. So we'll have that. This is not traditional for the salad, apparently, but it's what Jimin uses in the episode. So that's what we'll be using today. We've got some sesame oil, sesame seeds, somen noodles. These are very, very thin noodles, and they are often served cold. We've got some onion here and some cucumber. So let's prep everything for our noodle salad. Red onions tend to be sweeter than say a yellow or a white onion. So it should be noted that this is not the traditional way to make gulbengi muchim. This is just the BTS version. So I'm gonna thinly slice my onion. So the onions represent a large component of this recipe. They are gonna be served raw. So that's why I chose to use red onion and I'm cutting them very thinly. I'm gonna add the onions to the bowl. Next, I have half a cucumber. Let's go ahead and prep our sea snails. These are already cooked and they just come in a can ready to eat. So let's go ahead and see what these are like. Never had these before. Very easy to open. Oh my gosh, there they are right there. It smells like canned seafood. I'll dump them into here. Wow, there's quite a few in there. Look at that. Here are the gulbengi, and now we're going to cut these up. And Quan says that we should use 10 of these. We're going to cut these in half. Since these are already cooked, let's give these a taste. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. And those are delicious. They have a great chewy texture, but they're still tender and they're seasoned. They're a little bit sweet. There's a little bit of soy sauce in there. They're delicious. Mm-hmm, mm. It reminds me a lot of dried cuttlefish. If you've ever had cuttlefish jerky, the flavor is very, very similar. You've got a strong seafood flavor of the cuttlefish, but in this case, it is sea snail. And then you've got kind of sweet MSG soy sauce flavors going on there. Delicious. We're gonna add that to the vegetables that we've prepared. Shake it up really well. Then we're gonna add, whoa, some of that <laughs> to there. In terms of consistency, it's kind of like a gojujang, but a little runnier. So now we're just gonna mix this all together, kind of crush up the vegetables along with the sea snails. Couldn't be any easier, oh my gosh. Look at that beautiful color. It smells fantastic. It smells spicy and sweet. It definitely has some sesame oil in there. Ah, oh, it smells delicious. Mmm. It tastes a bit like gojujang. It has that nice spicy flavor of gojujang. It's a little bit sweet. It tastes like it has a little bit of fermented soy in there. It's delicious. Okay, I'm sticking an extra squirt of that on there. Okay, this is gonna be my new favorite thing. Thanks, BTS. I've got a bundle of somen, which are really thin noodles. I'm just gonna do one bunch, pour them into there. So you can find somen in Japan, you can find it in China, you can find it in Korea, and it's a noodle that can be served warm, but oftentimes it's served cold. 
So you boil it as you would any kind of noodle and then you make sure you rinse it really well so the noodles don't stick together and cool it down with cold water. And often it's had during the summertime. Mmm, okay, almost there. <laughs> my mom used to make soma noodles for my brother. She would make a really strong chicken broth and serve him soma noodles with the chicken broth. Super nutritious, easy to digest, she would say. <laughs> oh, my mom. I'm gonna go drain these and rinse them with plenty of cold water. And we rinse them for a couple of reasons. Number one, we want to cool these off. This is going to be a cool noodle dish. And number two, we don't want the noodles to stick together. So you take the noodles and you wrap them around your finger and you make a little nest like that. There we go. We're going to take a little bit of sesame oil and drizzle that onto the little nest of noodles. Take a little bit of sesame seed and just wee. I can't wait to taste this, this looks so beautiful. Now, to eat this, it's super simple. We just take our chopsticks and we mix everything together. <sighs> take our salad and mix it with our somen. Oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Alrighty, my first taste of gulbegi muchim. Here we go, itadakimasu. Outstanding, absolutely outstanding. I love it. Such a great combination of flavors and textures. You've got that great crunch of the cucumber, the crunch of the raw onion, and the slip of the cool noodles, and then you've got the chewiness of the sea snails. Those are just the textures. In terms of flavors, you've got all kinds of complexity as well. You've got the spice of the chili, which is not too spicy. Your mouth is not bleeding by any means, but there is a nice warmth to it. There is a sweetness. Then you've got the kind of hoppy, dank flavors of the sesame seed oil in there. All together, it is so delicious. Oh, and then you've got the kind of briny seafood flavor of the snails as well. Absolutely delicious. This would be a perfect summery meal. Mm -hmm. So delicious! The onions are sweet and crunchy and sulfurous and strong, but work so well with the paito sauce along with the sea snails. And then you got the heat in there as well. So it starts to spice them up as you eat more. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as long as you have the canned snails and the somen in your pantry, this is an excellent pantry meal. Comes together quickly, tastes fresh and alive and delicious. Oh, you also need the paito sauce. This is scrum de liumptious. Thanks, BTS. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy that one. And I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Remember, this recipe was inspired by Inita Picosita, who shared this with me. And without her sharing with, it, with me, I would have never even known about it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. large ant.